I'm sure you know by now that React is one of the most popular front-end JavaScript libraries that we have today. It can be used to build web, desktop, and even mobile applications. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to build a metaverse using React. So to start, we'll create a new React app by running npx create React app, and I'll call it React Metaverse. Once this is done, we'll open up the project. We should have a new React project. And just to test it out, we, we can go ahead and run npm start to get the app running and just make sure everything is working. You see something like this. Now, before we start writing any code, we're going to install a few dependencies. First one will be a frame followed by three. Um, and a frame. Uh, if you've seen in one of my other videos, is a framework that allows you to create VR and AR applications in the web. And 3JS is another uh, web framework that allows you to position 3D objects in the web. And pretty much A-Frame is built on top of 3JS. And we'll be using both of these together to build our metaverse in React. So once those are installed, we can start importing them adding them to our app.js, we'll first import A-Frame. Then we're going to import from 3JS um, something called GLTF Loader. And this is going to be found in 3JS and examples inside JSM inside of our loaders. And we'll get the GLTF Loader. We can go and remove all this HTML that's being returned and we'll create a constant loader that's a new GLTF loader and we'll use, come back to this in a second next we'll add our async tag and then also an assets tag now we're going to be using this image this stars image as our sky or our background in our metaverse you can find this in my repo but to add this, we, we're going to add a, a sky tag. Uh, we're going to set our color to white. And our material, we'll set it to this source. Uh, first, we need to add this image asset into our A assets. We'll give it an ID of sky. And we need to import this image. We'll import it as sky. And this is just the image we added, stars.jpg. So now we can set the source to sky. And now inside of our material, we can just set it to the ID sky. We can set the rotation uh, to 0, 0, 0, x, y, and z coordinate. Now we're going to go to Sketchfab to find the model for our metaverse. There's this cool Vaporwave Mountains model that I found that I really liked and this is what I'm going to use uh, for our metaverse. This is what it looks like. So Sketchfab, this is actually free. You can download it. You just need to create an account and you'll want to download it as a GLTF model. So we can download this. Once it's downloaded uh, and you open it, you should see a couple of files. Now the ones we're going to use is this bin and this GLTF file. What we're going to do is combine both of these files into a single GLB file. And to do that, we're going to go to this website. You can find the link in my description. And we'll just drag and drop both of those two files uh, onto this website. And it'll create a single GLB file. You can also use tools like Blender or probably other 3D modeling tools to do this, uh, but just wanted to provide another option for those who might not want to use these tools. But we'll be using this GOB file. I changed the name of my file from scenes to mountains.gob, and next I'll add a models folder inside of source uh, where I'll keep this model and uh, any other model that we'll use. Uh, next, we can import this file. I'll import it as mountain from 
and we'll just pass in the model's path to that mountain.glb file. Next we'll add this entity and we'll set the ID of the entity to mountain and the position we'll just set it to 0, 0, 0. Next we'll come back up to this loader. Um, we're going to say loader.load. We'll pass in this mountain object then we'll pass in a function that has a D parameter and then inside of here we'll create a constant entity and set it equal to document dot get element by ID pass in that mountain ID and then we'll say entity object 3d dot add and we'll pass in the dot scene and this will add that model into our a-frame scene now we can run npm start and this is what should it look like currently it's a bit smaller than what I want it to be so I'll go back and change the scale of this to make it a bit bigger so I'll just set the scale to 15 by 15 by 15 and that should look better. Let's go back. And yeah, so it looks it's a bit bigger now, not as small as it was before. You can walk around using the arrow keys. Looks pretty good. Now what I'll do next is we'll go back to Sketchfab and I want to add a rocket found this rocket on there we can do the same steps you can just download it and convert it to .gov I went ahead and did that already and I named my model rocket now we're gonna wanna create a new JavaScript file where we're gonna create a rocket object call it rocket.js we'll just go ahead and copy some things from our app.js import aframe again We'll need this GLTF loader. We'll import our rocket model from that models directory path. And we'll create a function called rocket. That'll take in three parameters, X, Y, and Z. This is so we can set the coordinates of where we want to place it. We'll add our constant loader. We'll be that new GLTF loader, same like we did in app.js. Then we'll say loader.load rocket model. And we'll return, we'll add another A entity, we'll give it an ID of rocket, and we'll give it uh, the position. It'll be those parameters, or X, Y, and Z. Next, we'll come back up here, and we'll create a constant entity, which will be our document get element by that rocket ID. Then we'll say entity dot object three D dot add D dot scene. Now we can export our rocket, but we also need to add another import for prototypes, and we'll use this to pass in our parameters to our rocket, and we'll say rocket dot prototypes to x y and z and each one of these parameters will be a prototypes dot number now if we go back to our app.js we can import our rocket and we'll add a tag for our rocket and we'll pass we'll set those parameters our x y and z parameters i'll set x to 0 y to 50 and z to negative 80 and if we refresh, we can see it way over there. It's kind of hard to see. It seems, looks like a star, but it's, it's over there. It's just really, really small. Uh, we can go back and change the, the size of this rocket object. So we go back to rocket. We can set the scale to be 15 by 15 by 15. And we save that. We go back. We can actually see the rocket this time. And it looks pretty good, but I do want to tilt it a bit to the left. So I'm going to go back and set my rotation. I'll change it. My X uh, will stay 0, Y will stay 0, and then I'll just tilt the Z axis uh, 40 degrees. So now it looks like this. It looks like it's flying away. But that's pretty much it for this tutorial. 
Um, just wanted to show you how you can quickly build a metaverse using React.js. It's pretty simple to do. There's tons of free 3D models in Sketchfab that you can play with and add to your metaverse to make it look however you want. But I really hope you enjoyed this and until next time.